Good morning, dear students. Welcome to another English language program intended for the students who are getting ready for the GCE ordinary level examination. Dear children, we have started uh, unit 7 last week and we, are hope, we hope to continue the same uh, unit. And the theme of the unit is simple living. So dear children, we are going to discuss the last part of unit 7 today. And the activities are based on vocabulary. Darwane ado but apikela denne kohomada me alut vachana obala at o level vibhage di udaw wena wage ma oge prayukika jeevithe di kohomada me alut vachana walin obala at kohomada uttar liyanna puluwan kiyala. So I invite Mr. Ranjit Hemachandra uh, to conduct the lesson today. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. Uh, sir, can you tell me how uh, vocabulary will help the students in their studies as well as in their day-to-day -day activities? Well, uh, good morning, dear students. Today we are going to talk about vocabulary and how to improve your vocabulary. Dear students, vocabulary means our stock of words, the number of words we know and the number of words we can use in English. But you must know how to improve it by reading books, watching films, listening to the radio or listening to other, uh, we can say speeches, we can improve our vocabulary. Uh, at the same time, we must know how to Keep those words in mind. Dwe putte oba dana vachana mala vedikar agani mata noye kramatira. Api ada eka kramya kubata pahadri karana te anne. Api igena gana kota me vachana group peka khati it. As a group, we have to learn it. And we have to know the type of the word, whether it is a noun, verb, adjective, or adverb, like that. Uh, and we, might, we have to use it in a sentence. Today we are going to use the words that normally uh, we have to use in the kitchen while we are cooking. Api kama pili alakarana kota kusedi bavita karana vachana. Pili bandhavai adha api saka chakarana tiyan obe hatveni lesson at the hatveni unit take, seventh unit take, avasana kota se me vachana. Uh, but a theorem of Balagan and Puluan, Adapi Pehe deliver better uh, Vistrakaladana Kohoma Deva Matakatiagan. So we are going to talk, uh, talk about the verbs uh, to describe activities in the kitchen. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. So, children, uh, remember these are verbs, so the action words. So we will, uh, we have carefully selected a uh, uh, lot of words for you all. So let us see how uh, the meanings of these words and how they can be used in um, instructions. Yes, sir. Uh, today we are going to use certain words that we use to prepare certain food items. Now, when we prepare food items, we'll have to cut things, we have to grind things, sometimes uh, keep them in an oven, so we'll have to use them. So. Let us see uh, what these words are. Now you can see one word. Let us read it. Sift or sieve. Sift, S-I-F-T, Emanathan, sieve, S-I-E-V-E. Let us read uh, the meaning of the word. To put to, one yes. or more dry ingredients through a sieve or sifter. Mukadda duwe putte me sieve kyan me pene reakwa ge heking api kisiyam deak. Hala agan na kota api kiya na sift kiya la. Namala to put one or more dry ingredients, again really dravya, through a sieve or sifter. So sieve, eh manatang, sifter kiya la kiya na wa, me penere ak wage, me vidhiya ta penere kata. Ito da eke ng hala agan na wa, pera agan na wa, api yudha agan na wa, me sift kiya na wa chane. So we have to sift the rice flour. Api kiya na wa haal piti, api teke ng hala agan na ta pulwa. So, what is the word sift or sieve? So that gima? is the verb and we can find the noun, noun. also there. Sieve. Uh, sieve ke la kiya nama? Sifter. Hala. 
खालागान वट ये वगैरह में एक पेनेरे तत्त्व पिकिए ना पेनेरे तत्त्व दागान सो लेट अस रीड इट अगेन टू पुट वन नो मोर ड्राई इंग्रेडिएंट्स थ्रू अ सीव ऑर सिल्वर 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 so that is the meaning of the word so please remember it uh, if you have a book you can write it down and remember it because we will be using it again and again so that you may remember it shall we move on to the next one yes the next word is simmer so what do you mean by simmer sometimes uh, when you watch some demonstrations uh, in making different food items in ex- uh, in expressing uh, recipes Sometimes uh, this word ca- may be used. That is simmer. Let us read it. To cook slowly in liquid over low heat at a temperature of about 180 degrees. The surface of the liquid should be barely moving, broken from time to time by slowly rising bubbles. Now here, there's something important here. 180 degrees. Here, 180 degrees means Fahrenheit. in centigrade it may be about 82 degrees that is we heat something below the boiling point ekena natana usnatte the boiling point ekata wada adu usnatte ekin yamak himi sirve rat kara ganimata api kiyena simmer kiyala slow cooking actually yes slow cooking uh, to cook slowly in liquid or low heat at a temperature of about 180 degrees that is fahrenheit uh, the surface of the liquid should be barely moving broken from time to time by slowly rising bubbles the slowly rising bubbles it means here you are bubulu naginawa habai ara boiling wenat the boiling point ekata langa wenne ne e taramata tiya ganim api kena simmer kiyala so uh, you can use the word A simmer so you can ask somebody to you have to simmer the vegetables for about 5 minutes so 5 or 6 uh, minutes uh, shall we move on to the next one yes the next word is dice yes dice uh, now we use the word dice for another thing that is when we use uh, when we play a game. Uh, game there is we have to use the dice now here this is this has been used as a verb mukad me dice kela kiyanne Uh, can you read uh, the action that we sh- what we should do to cut food in small cubes of uniform size and shape me balana dwe putte to cut food samahara aahara dravya kapa gani small cubes me punchi kali walata of uniform size uniform size kiyanne eka samana pramaane eka samahari wala koi samahari wala podi ehema wenna ba eka samana pramaane samana hadiyakata खापा आ गान नोट आप इक्की नोट डाइस किया। We have to dice vegetables, sometimes dice fruits, so that we can prepare it beautifully. So dice can be used as a verb, and even we use it as a noun also. So uh, the food can be diced. We have to dice the food, dice the vegetables, so we can use the word dice. So now we use the word simmer, we use the word dice, and let us see what we have to learn uh, in our program yes the next word is fry uh, fry so shall we read what it is to cook in hot fat to cook in a fat is called pan frying or sauteing to cook in a 1 or 2 inch layer of hot fat is called shallow fat frying to cook in a deep layer of hot fat is called deep fat frying yes let us see what fry means now everybody knows Now we have frying pans to cook in hot fat. मतलब mm-hmm. fat के अंदर में ये मैंने तो तेल वाले किसी हम देख पिसा गान नोट आप इक्की नो तो cook in hot fat to cook in a fat is called pan frying. आप इक्की नो pan frying, a sauteing uh, to cook uh, to cook in a one to two inch layer of hot fat. एक अंदर अंगल एक अंदर देखा देख पा गाना का मटर तीन ना तेल वाले हमें ना तम फैट वाले बदगान ना तो कॉल्स शैलो फैट फ्राइंग वैरी तेल दान ना तो वैरी तेल दान ना तो एक नोगेम्बरु तेल दान वा शैलो फैट फ्राइंग शैलो के अन नोगेम्बरु के अने का ये वाके में टू कुक इन अ डीप लेयर वड़ा गेम्बरु लेयर रहेगा ओ हॉट फैट इस कॉल्ड डीप � Cook something 
in fat or oil. The may oil can it may they can a cotter, may tell well a kissiam there bedaganoa, etocotta eke, adu pramani eking, the bedagapi canema, shallow fat frying, emanatang, deep fat frying. So I think you understand that one. We can fry something, fry vegetables, fry an egg. So normally we call it. Yes. What about the next one? Yes. Need. Need. So this is a very important word, need. Some, sometimes we will have to need something. So what do we mean by need? Here you can check the spellings here, children. K-N-E-A-D, need. So here K is silent. Yes. So we pronounce it as need. need. We don't pronounce the letter K, need. Yes. To work and press down with the palms of the hands or mechanically to develop the gluten in the flour. In the flour. Then, oh, me dura putala dekar as a mahara me kadaval, isarhame, me wed me a need ken, the me api singling, you know, ananama on the tiki naker, a pit balaga and puluang, to work and press dove, dove kian era, then piti kadala than a mistranak waga, a dove with the palms of the hand, me have alling, or mechanically, sometimes it can be done by machine to develop the gluten in the flour. May Pitivalatina, Ekata, Ali, like a tena Gatia, Matukaragan, the Mukade, Apatabasa, Cram, Varga, Hadagan, the Galapen with theatre, maker, on the and Ananova Tapakino, need Kiela. So we have to need the flour well by mixing. Sometimes you have to mix water, butter, and sometimes eggs, and you have to knead them well so that everything will be spread, we can say, evenly. Mostly so, to make bread, of course, you have to knead it. Knead it. Knead the flour. So that it word is need. Yes. K N E A D and past tense needed, past participle also needed. Yes. Next one. Now uh, another common word, children, mix. Yes, mix. So we'll have to mix so many things. And uh, shall we read what it is? To combine ingredients, usually by stirring. Stirring. Apa kisah yang dia kerap handi gal? Yang mana tentang kisah yang dia ke misra kena? Apa kena? Mix kela to combine ingredients. Ingredients kian itu dia putih. Apa kisah yang kaya mawar gak? Tiada dagang na e kotas. Teng ingredients drawvia. Eba ikatnya misra kara ganwa. Sometimes maybe with a spoon. Sometimes some people do it with the hands. So we call it mix. There are, are even mix stir word yeah, also stir. there. Stir is you turn. And there are mixers also yes. for this purpose. So to combine ingredients usually by stirring it. Stir means the use sometimes with a spoon we make it move. Yes, we right. are going to explain stir in the next slide, next children. Yes. Uh, here you can see stir to mix ingredients with a circular motion until well blended of uniform consistency. Yes, the word stir. Now, sometimes when we prepare a cup of tea, you will have to stir it well before serving it. So to mix ingredients with a circular motion, circular motion, you can what take karaka when with the until we blended or of uniform consistency. Api yudhana dravya, kan misra kan dravya, thamanu pati kewa, hemat tena mana misra benih bi dhieta tamai, meka kalatan, api api handi gaan wa kira kan samarve la, ata stir means move, kalawam karana, stir it well. So now sab now while you are making a cup of tea, you will have to pour tea into a cup and add some sugar and add some milk and you have to stir it well and finally serve it. So stir means to mix the things, ingredients. With a circular motion until well blended or of uniform consistency. Right. Let us move yes. on to the next one. The next word is grind. Grind. Uh, we use it sometimes, it is done. Sometimes, uh, even uh, uh, small houses, it may be done in one way, and some, sometimes rich houses, it may be done in a different way. So, let us see what grind means. To process solids by hand or mechanically to reduce them to tiny particles. Particles kya ne me kuda kya beli valeta? To process solids me gana dravya, jan gane ta tiye neva by hand or mechanically ko atpaling emanat ta yantra anusaring to reduce them to tiny particles. Punche kya beli valeta khada agar na tam piti baota pat karan. Apni me ka ambaragan no emanat tang ek. 
ग्राइंड करा करने ग्राइंड दें ग्राइंडिंग मिल्स के लिए तीनों दें मिल्स अभी तो मुम ये वा अंबर ने स्थान में तो ग्राइंड किया ने अंबर गानवा ये मने तंग एक मेवी दिरे कुड़ा कैबली वाले टो वेंग करा गानवा सो यू कैन सी इट इन द पिक्चर हाउ इट इज़ डन सो लेट अस रीड द इंस्ट्रक्शंस टू प्रोसेस सॉलिड्स बाय हैंड ओ मैकेनिकली टू रिड्यूस देम टू टाइनी पार्टिकल्स पुंजे कैबली वाले टाइनी पार्टिकल्स जीविते ये गुड़ाक के लाये तो कम मशीन्स वालीं करना हम ग्राइंडर्स थी है ना ये वाला तो मेरे को तो हमारे पारण हमारे पारण तो ग्राइंडिंग स्टोन यस शैल यू मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन द नेक्स्ट वन इज पील सो दिस इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट एवरीबॉडी विल हैव टू डू इट समटाइम्स पील टू रिमूव द पील्स फ्रॉम कोटस है अभी आइंग करेगा ना अभी ये किंग आइंग करेगा ना पुलवांग बट पेन वा अभी को हम देख कराने के लिए पोतुवारी ना पोतुवारी ना किए ने के सो वी कॉल इट पील सो यू कैन देयर अभी वी हैव पीलिंग नाइफ्स आल्सो सो पील मींस रिमूविंग द आउटर पार्ट ऑफ वेजिट ऑफ वेजिटेबल्स ओ फ्रूट्स यस द नेक्स्ट or other chopping device. So there are shop, uh, chopping devices. Tiyaki ka thadiing api vengkaragaan, api wa kapagaan vengkaragaan umunao naama, api medu daagaan to cut solids into pieces with a sharp knife. Bohuma tiyunu piyaking or other chopping device. Emane tuwa yekatama vengvetcha chopping devices tiyena wa, eheking meka hundata vengkaragaan wa. Right, sometimes people say with text, we chop wood sometimes. That is also api then darapalagaan atat kiyena wa. We chop wood kele with an axe, but this is normally chopping maybe vegetables. It's quickly you cut. Some special meat. Yes. Some when you prepare meat, you have to chop meat so that it may be, it may be, that means it may be put into small pieces. Yes. Something like that. So to cut solids into pieces with a sharp knife or other chopping device. Yes. Next one. The next word is children, scrape. A scrape. So everybody knows that. What do you mean by scrape? Yes. To Can rub a sharp edge or tool against a surface. Ah, to rub or sharp edge. tune edge jaging, against a surface. If you know, damage a surface. Kisi am surface yak damage kalla ekiti neva api. Sura gaan, we can tell my scrape can. Sometimes children may scrape their foot, sometimes knee. When you fall, you can scrape your knee. We can scrape kya la mai. So, api singhale nang api dang gudak kula avata scrape coconut, polga gaan wa ki na dhasa. They are the machine we call coconut scraper. Coconut scraper. Ramanaya. You can use the scrape, scrape coconuts. So, let us read it again. To rub a sharp edge or tool against a surface yes shall we move on to the next yes one? the next word is boil boil uh, you can see now we have to boil so many things yes how can we explain what it is to heat a liquid until bubbles break continually on the surface number one to heat a liquid kisiyam dravya kapi ratkaragano until bubbles me bubble bubbles break continually on the surface तं टिकेंट टिका वारिंग मरे अभी लाइट पास से एक सारे को मात हुए इनसे आप क्या नहीं कर उत्तर रहने वाके ना न तं जाले नाटे ना उत्तर रहने वाके ना अन्य तात्र आपके ना बॉईल के ना नॉर्मली वाटर बॉईल से 100 डिग्रीज सेंटीग्रेड और 212 डिग्रीज फ़ारेनहाइट सो वी कॉल इट बॉईल वील वील हैव टू � so normally we beat. We can we can beat a person. Can you pahar den lag pulua? So here beat in cook in cooking means yes. Can you read that? To mix rapidly in order to make a mixture smooth and light by incorporating as much air as possible. This is very important. You can say to mix rapidly, weighing a ka mixer ka rapid in order to make a mixture smooth and light. If I give you the hell with the light by incorporating as much air. You can see the beat on the screen. Yes, it is possible. So that is what we call it beat. So it is a mixture of beat and as possible. So that is we call it beat when we talk about cooking. And normally in our day to day, that means activities and beat me, you may be beating someone. 
So sometimes uh, when we say we beat that team, sometimes when you defeat some team, we, we use the word beat. But in cooking, beat means we mix rapidly in order to make a mixture smooth and light. So we can make a keep a uh, Mostly you beat eggs, eggs. Uh, in making cakes and making omelette. Right. So let us move on to the next one. Uh, it's squeeze. Yes, squeeze. Right. Uh, squeeze. Yes. Firmly press something soft or yielding, typically with one's fingers. Right. squeeze. There are some words you can see. Compress, Compress, yes. Press, crush, squash, pinch, nip, grasp, grip. Grip. squeeze So we call the word squeeze. Uh, we can say squeeze water out of the cloth. So we can mention. Squeeze lemon. Yes, lime. squeeze lemon, lime, like that. So let us move on to the next one. Yes, the next word is drain. So this is also important. Sometime, uh, sometimes we'll have to drain water from something. Yes, what do you mean by drain? Cause the water or other liquid in something to run out, leaving it empty or dry. Uh, cause the water or other liquid in something to run out. Api kisiyam dehkatiyana jalaya, ratani dravya, dravya. Leaving it empty or dry. Now you I'll read it. Cause the water or other liquid, Vaturari Vena Dravaya, in something to run out, leaving it empty or dry. Eka Velenda. We drain the water. Right. The next word is pound. Several times with a lot of force. Ah, lot of force, loko balay king. To hit something several, ekka kisi dia keep sare ya kapi ekata apni thading ekata pahara dina. Tan thading hit hit kya ne gahan wa pahara dina ma kya ne ekata. Eto kati hi bata pain wa me miris swage dia kapi pound ne. Eka ambara gahan wa ne tang ekata kapi samahan miris kota gahan wa kila kena. Ekata we use the word pound. Uh, and we can uh, introduce this thing, mortar and the pestle. Yes, there. mortar and the pestle. Now, this we call this mortar. One this is the pestle. And uh, molgaha, oh. pestle. Pestle, P E S T L, like a T, like a uh, silent. Pestle and mortar we use to uh, pound something. So, we can say, first of all, to pound some chilies. So, we can use it as a verb. Uh, or we can say, pound a chili. Yes. Something like that. Thank you, sir. Now, children, uh, you have learned a lot of new words. Um, and so now we will use these things uh, in giving instructions. Normally in cooking, you have to give instructions. Uh, mostly when you are making a recipe, when you are doing a recipe, you have to give instructions. So let us see how we can use these words uh, to give instructions to do something. Dear children, actually, there is an exercise in your textbook. Instructions you can see it on the screen. Let us take the first one. Using imperatives for instructions. If you have imperative, you can put it in the same way. Instruction in passive form. In this way, we have to make a product. We have to make a product. We have to make a product. We did a lesson on passive voice. Can you read the first instruction? First, dice the vegetables. 
you can see this first dice the vegetable then mata kathi wachane dice kiyanne meka punchi kali wata kapa ganna first dice the vegetables apita ekama yoda ganna puluwan first the vegetables are diced so the vegetables kiyan object ekak gatta ekama a kiyana wachane yeduwa ite passe past participle diced so before i move on to the next one i'll explain the passive voice again when we learn the passive voice uh, we have to learn it in certain tenses therefore quickly i will explain how we can do it in the present tense no present tense we use the object or whatever it is then mostly uh, what is used as the object of an active voice sentence and is am are with the past participle for example we can say the room is cleaned daily that is simple present tense simple past tense the room was cleaned yesterday etakota was were ekat ekkala past part the rooms were cleaned yesterday the room was cleaned yesterday etakota uh, future simple future tense ke the room will be cleaned tomorrow the rooms will be cleaned tomorrow e vidiyata and present continuous ke obata mataka athi the room is being cleaned now ka bahuwachana enna the rooms are being cleaned now so the present perfect noun the room has been cleaned eka plural ekak nan the rooms have been cleaned so api menna me tika poddak mataka tiya ganna api dan balamu dan me abhyasa edara kohomada menna me e wagema sa watak karaganna one active voice wala di subject ekak api pradhanaya thiyena ha bai passive voice wala di object ekak thama api isara hata ganna pradhana wachana wasen ganna e hinda eka mataka tiya ganna thara lesi yogolanta me activity ekak karanna api apawa balamu me udaharane first dice the vegetables so dice kiyanne eka eka kriya karakamak me vegetables kapa gan ara ke tiyenne the vegetables kiyanne katha the vegetables are diced so let us make a sentence with the next word is boil so how can we make a sentence with the word boil boil the water yes boil the water so you can make a, you can ask some boil some water first of all you can boil some water so same thing can be mentioned in passive form so how can we say it then we have to take water to the front water is boiled for removing germs yes water is boiled for removing germs e kiyana api samahara welawata me watura rat kara gannawa me api kiyanawa visa bija haraniya karannata tota e vidire vakya kada water is boiled for removing germs or oh, what is boiled for preparing a cup of tea so like that you have to make a sentence shall we move on to the next one yes the next one sift but then a sift can hala ganwa kiyana eka how can we make a sentence or so imperative using sift the rice flour well yes sift the rice flour well the flour kiyana piti me palm piti hondin hala ganda sift hal piti rice flour hal piti api kiyana right hal piti hondin hala ganda the rice flour well uh, how can we say it in the passive form rice flour is sifted well ah, uh, for this process we can say rice flour is sifted well so we pronounce the word f l o u r as flour so rice flour is sifted well o c kana daruwane da api rice flour kene api isarahata gannawa subject object eka uh, rice flour eta eka singular hinda api is gala singular kiyanne eka uncountable noun eka noun ekak vidihata ඊට පස්සේ පාස් පාටිසිපල් සීඩ් සිෆ්ටඩ් විදාග යස් නෙක්ස්ට් වන් ස්ලයිස් ස්ලයිස් කියන්නේ වී කට් ඉන්ටු ස්මෝල් පීසස් ඒක සමාන කොටස් වලට කවුස් ස්ලයිස් කියන එක ස්ලයිස් ది ඔනියන්ස් ඉන්ටු ස්මෝල් පීසස් ස්ලයිස් ది ඔනියන්ස් ඉන්ටු ඉන්ටු ස්මෝල් පීසස් දැන් මේක විධානය කරන්න කරන්න කියන එක ස්ලයිස් ది ඔනියන්ස් ලූණු පුංචි කෑලි වලට කපා ගන්න ස්ලයිස් වට් ది ඔනියන්ස් සෝ වී හැව් ටු ටේක් ඔනියන්ස් ඇස් ද the first, first word, word or the right of the passive voice passive sentence. voice form yes onions are sliced into small pieces that is a passive voice form onions are sliced into small pieces there are onions plural so we use are and sliced past participle sliced sliced, right. sliced. next word fry. fry yes how can you make a sentence with fry fry the vegetables slightly ah uh, fry the vegetables slightly can 
සාමාන්‍ය ප්‍රමාණයකට ෆ්‍රයි කරගන්න. ෆ්‍රයි ද වෙජිටබල්ස් ලයිට්ලි. සෝ හියර් ද ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් ඉස් ද වෙජිටබල්ස්. සෝ වී කැන් මේක් ද පැසිව් වොයිස් සෙන්ටෙන්ස් යුසින් ද වර් යුසින් ද ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් ද වෙජිටබල්ස්. වෙජිටබල්ස්. හව් කැන් යු මේක් අ සෙන්ටෙන්ස්? වෙජිටබල්ස් ආ ෆ්‍රයි ස්ලයිට්ලි. වෙජිටබල්ස් ආ වෙජිටබල්ස් ප්ලූරල් ආ ෆ්‍රයිඩ් ඉස් ද පාස් පාටිසිපල්. සෝ වෙජිටබල්ස් ආ ෆ්‍රයිඩ් ස්ලයිට්ලි. Yes. yes. The next one is need. Yes. Need. अभी दानों need के नवा या पिटिवागे दिया कोणिंग आना गानों टा प्रकाश कला need. So how can we make a sentence? So need impact. the flour with water. Uh, need the flour with water. Or we can say need the flour with water and butter and salt. So like that we can make a sentence. So it can be mentioned as a passive voice one. We take the flour as the object. So how can we make a sentence? The flour is needed with water. The flour is needed with water. Flour is needed with water. You can pity. Jalay samaga Mr. Kara anaganu le be kai kai. Flour is needed with water. Next one, mix. Mix the vegetables and fish. Uh, mix the vegetables and fish. Now you can see it on the screen. Mix the vegetables and fish. So the vegetable le bage maal le kete Mr. Kara ga. So here you have the vegetables and fish. must be used in the passive form yes. so how can we use that the vegetable and fish should be mixed ah api kiyana ekata ba issela api kiyama should be mixed etakota meka misra karagata yutuy kiyala kiyanne me widiyata the vegetables and fish should be mixed should be mixed together so we can use the word api dammo the vegetables and fish are mixed kiyala ekata misra karaganu labi meka misra karagata yutuy kiyala kiyanne api should be mixed සාමාන්‍ය අපි ඉන්ස්ට්‍රක්ෂන්ස් දෙනකොට ඒ වගේ තමයි ආවෙ. ඒ වගේ යොදා ගන්න පුළුවන්. So let us move on to the next one. Stir. Stir. අපි හැඳි ගාගන්නවා, කලවම් කරගන්නවා. So how can we give an instruction for that one? Stir the tea well. Uh, stir the tea well. ඒක හොඳින් හැඳි ගන්න. Stir the tea well. So the tea is the object. object. So how can we make a sentence the passive the form? The tea should be stirred well. ඒකත් අපි යොදුවේ the tea should be stirred well me teka hondin handi ga gata yutui the tea should be stirred well the next one grind grind so how can we give an instruction for the word grind grind the chilies yes grind the chilies me sticker ambara gana grind the chilies and the passive form the chilies are ground the chilies are ground by the past participle ground past tense also ground chilies are ground me means ambara gana labi Right. Let's move on to the next one. Squeeze. Squeeze. Now here, squeeze. Ah, we mirror ka ganu akhe. The meka tapit avashya vini ni saath tamay yedwe. Yes. How can we make a sentence? Squeeze the water out of the cloth. Ah, squeeze the water out of the cloth. E. Reading. Jale ibat karagan ne mirror kala. Squeeze the water out of the cloth and passive form. It's we have to take water. Water. As the object there. The water should be squeezed. out of the cloth the water ek thiyena wathu the water ka api the water the water should be squeezed out of the cloth peel yes peel api ganawa leli gahanawa kene how can we make a sentence an peel, instruction peel the cucumber just peel the cucumber peel the fruit peel the vegetables right peel the cucumber so how can we say it in the passive form the cucumber should be peeled first yes The cucumber should be peeled first. अभी तो क्या है मार खाता है ना मूली में करेगा द The cucumber should be peeled first. Oh, peel the cucumber first. We can use it. So now we can move on to the next the one. The next word is simmer. Simmer. You can see we talk about that means we heat something below the boiling point. Yeah, slow fire. S- uh, slow fire. That means yes. Okay, simmer the potatoes for five minutes. Uh, simmer the potatoes for five minutes. We now have to pack. may be theater they are simmer the potatoes for 5 minutes so uh, what about the passive form the potatoes are simmered for 5 minutes yeah, the potatoes are simmered for 5 minutes or we can say the potatoes should be simmered, simmered for 5 minutes. minutes next Then one add add, uh, add can up ekatu kara ganna yama so how can we give an example add some sugar just add some sugar add some sugar and milk So add some sugar. So how can we say the passive form? Some sugar should be added. Yes, some sugar should be added. To tea. The next one, beat. Yes, beat. So we can give an instruction with beat. Normally in cooking, what what type of instruction can be? Beat given? two eggs yes, together. Yes, beat two eggs. Bitra deka gaha gaha, right? Be beat two eggs. 
So passive form. Two eggs should be beaten. Yes, two eggs should be beaten, or two eggs are beaten. Two eggs should Here, be beat, beaten. past participle, beaten. Yes. Next then one, drain. Drain. Api vaturai means are ivatrayan idhari no drain. How can you make a sentence? Drain the water from rice. Yes, drain the water from rice. Alvaling vatura means are ivatkaran. Drain the water from rice. Api take a part of kumhaland bhai means are ivatin the idhari. Drain the water from rice. So how can we make the passive voice sentence? Water should be drained from rice. Yes, water should be drained from rice. Water should be drained from rice. Yes. Now, children, we have learned a lot of uh, new words. So let us uh, put this in a small uh, puzzle. We have uh, prepared a small puzzle with the words that we have learned. We have learned and there may be some new words New also. words as well. So this so is just to test your vocabulary. vocabulary. Yes. So now uh, you can see the puzzle on the screen. So normally in the puzzle you have uh, words uh, across and you have words down. So, uh, what's the uh, clue that we can give for the first one? Uh, it's six letter word. Yes. To cook below the boiling point. Ah, to cook before, uh, below, below the below boiling the, point. Yes. You can boiling point. I'll give you a clue. The first letter is S. S. Yes. So, how can you start? this? Uh, I'll give you a clue. The first letter is S. S. So, how can you start this? Yes. It should what's be slow. Uh, boiling point is yeah. simmer. Simmer. Right. So now we can see it. S I double M E R. Now we have mentioned this word several times. Now you know that you can remember it. So here also we use the word simmer. What do you mean by simmer? To cook Heat below, the below the uh, boiling, boiling point. point. Right. Then shall we try one down? Um, one down, uh, four letters, immense in water. Oh, immerse in water, we can say. Immerse in water means, uh, that is, api kisiyam deyak jalayak oba bahagana. Ekata mukadda api kena vachani. Now the first letter is already there, S. Yes. Four letters, soak. Uh, soak, api kena ponga bahagana wakaya, soak. So, S-O-A-K, soak. Right? So, now we have two words. Dekat api me activity ekak, samahari wa ponga bahagana wakaya, soak. Ewa gima simmer. Now, let us try the word uh, 19 across. across. Yes. Uh, now, K is the first letter. Yes. Uh, to press into most usually with hands. I think it's a So, what is the word that we should use? Need. Yes. Need. But you know that K is silent. So, in here, we can say somebody does this. That is why we have used the word S. Somebody does this. So, somebody needs. K-N-E-A-D-S. Needs. So, let us now do the word. Uh, Six three, down. No, three down. Three down. Yeah. Okay. Now, M, uh, letter M is there. Um, and again. Six letter word. And in the, at the middle also, you can see E. e yes. Um, machines. Which mixes ingredients? Yes. Now here we use. There are some. These are some machines that may mix ingredients. The kekal dravya mixra karane yantraya. Hena mukadbe yantra valti kene ke bahu vachan engti enne yantra valti. Mixers. So mixers, mixers. M I X E R S. M I X E R S. So they mix the things. Mix is a machine. Mixers. Right. Then six down. Uh. The first letter is given and the One. fourth letter also there, five letter word. To cook food in an oven without covering. Ah, without covering. So, now sometimes, now we do it uh, because when we want to, it may, it is, it may be somewhat, uh, sometimes very tasty. So, what is the word that we can use? Roast. So, we roast food. Some people, we get sometimes roasted chicken. Yes. So, R-O-S-T, roast. Then we have another word, 23 down. Yes. 23 down, to stop living, ah, three letter stop, word. To stop living means die. die. So, you can see the next one, die. Uh, it is not associated with food. Of uh, course, if it's poison. Because, <laughs> because with it goes with living. <laughs> yes. That's the end of our living. Right. Then the last word, that is 31 across. 31 across, five letter word, beginning with T. And we have two more letters, S and E. e. Um, 
tasting the flavor of something. Oh, when we get the flavor of something. So actually word is taste. Taste. T A S T E. So all these words mostly connected to the what we have talked today. So let's move on to the Yes, there is part. another activity for you children. Uh, uh, most they are also with the uh, cooking. The same words. Same words. And there may be one or there two are new words. New words as well. Right. Uh, so let us move on to the activity. Now the activity is this. We give certain instructions, you will have to identify what the word is. The method of instruction is that you will have to identify what the word is. You also can try. First one, to cook foods on a rack or a spit over coals. You can try to cook foods on a rack or a spit over coals. You can try to cook foods on a rack or a spit over coals. You can try to cook foods on a rack or a spit over coals. You can try to cook foods on a rack or a spit over coals. To cook foods on a rack, me rack ke heka, api me ahar pisa ganwa or spit over a coals. Yaman natang me gal langguru mata, anguru mata me katiaga. So what is the word we can use? Barbecue. Yes, barbecue. The word barbecue. B a r b e c u e. Barbecue. So you learn another word. You can barbecue it. Yes. Shall we read the next one? Yes. An uncooked Pourable mixture usually made up of flour, a liquid, and other ingredients. Now, but I said that the work that we have done, we have made up of flour, a liquid, and other ingredients. Now, but I said that the work that we have done, we have made up of flour, a liquid, and other ingredients. Now, but I said that the work that we have done, we have made up of flour, a liquid, and other ingredients. Now, but I said that the work that we have done, we have made up of flour, a liquid, and other ingredients. Now, but I said that the work that we have done, we have made up of flour, a liquid, and other ingredients. Now, but I said that the work that we have Right? When you make cake, you need the this batter. batter. Oh, there is a tongue twister also, right? Betty butter, bought some butter, but he said this butter is bitter. So like that goes on. We can use the word batter also there, right? It's a nice word. So batter. Uh, the next, the ne let us move to the next instruction. To stir rapidly to make a mixture smooth using a whisk, spoon, or a mixer. Mixer, right? To stir rapidly, weighing kalatta gan, or to make a mixture smooth. Deka, bomo smooth karagan using a whisk or a spoon or a mixer. So what is it? They know it now. Yes. Beat. Yes, beat. The word is beat, right? That is the word. So we beat something to make it smooth. So you can say beat two eggs. Okay. Next one. To thoroughly combine two or more ingredients, either by hand. Or with a whisk or spoon, or with a mixer. To thoroughly combine, बहुत मैं होंडिंग कम मिस्टर करेगा ना. To more, two or more ingredients, either by hand or with a whisker, spoon, or with a mixer. So what is that? Blend. Yes, blend. You know, blender. The word blend. Beat, blend. This blend. Right. Next, Next one. one. Uh, to cook in bubbling water that has reached 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Ah. To cook in bubbling water. That has reached 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees centigrade. Yes. So what's that? Boil. Boil. So we use the word boil. B O I L. So there are two things here. Make a tiyala tiyung ganda tone. Make watne dena ganda tone. This is a good exercise. Yes. To the cook, next one. To yeah. cook on a rack or spit under or over direct heat, usually in an oven. Oh, then make a little calling it ready for the event. To cook on a rack. Make a rack ke ka tamai pisagani. Or a spit under or over direct heat. Ekko ekko yating natta udin direct heat taking usually in an oven. Samanya mek oven nih ka. So what do you call that? Broil. Broil. You can say broil. B R O I L. This is boil here. Broil. Only one letter more. Boil and broil. You learn these two words uh, and the meaning of this. Uh, you can write it down and learn the meaning. It will be important for you. Let's move on to the next one. To cook over high heat, usually on top of the stove, to brown food. Ah, to cook over high heat, yella usnatte ka pisaganwa, usually on top of the stove, to brown food. Me ahar da dumru part herend, hunding pisagan mo kada pi kyan. What do you call this? Brown. Yes, we call it brown it. The word brown is used as a verb. Verb. Brown. There is another important word. <coughs> Normally we do it to heat sugar until it liquefies and becomes a syrup, ranging in color form from, from golden, golden to dark, to dark brown. brown. 
හුඟක්වෙලාවට අපි මේ අවුරුදු කාලේ මේක කරගන්නවා ඔය සීනි පත් කරලා පැණි හදාගන්න ඕක ඒකට what do you call that word caramelize yes can we call it caramelize ඔන්න ඉතින් මේ වචනේ ඉගෙන ගන්න caramelize c r a m e l i z e d caramel එක වගේ උඩට වක් කරන්න වක් කරනවා caramelize we call it yes again let us read it to heat sugar Uh, to heat sugar uh, until it liquefies and becomes a syrup ranging in color from golden to dark brown dark brown so we call it caramelize so let us move on to the next one to remove the seeds or tough woody centers from fruits and vegetables uh, but to remove the seeds seeds can at or tough woody centers are bohoma ganakamata thiyena dewal from Nada. fruits and vegetables etakota palaturu walin प्रधान so we can use the word yes cube it the word here cubes you can cube it cube it means you cut it into small cubes the same word can be used next one to cut food into very small 1/8 to 1/4 inches cubes we call it dice that is smaller pieces so dice cube you know you must know the difference this is bigger and dice smaller pieces yes Uh, now children uh, we have one more exercise for you um, this is how to use vocabulary in sentences so there you can see um, you can sentence. read the sentence and s- identify and try to find yes. out a suitable word for that we don't give you words but you have to read and understand and see what is uh, suitable but this, in that this particular this uh, exercise is not related to what we yes. have uh, Uh, but we have talked about because we, when you are improving your vocabulary you will have to uh, know different types of words now let us read this and try to understand uh, what it is and what uh, should be used in the blank first one the waitress here knows exactly how i like my steak because i am a customer blank customer the waitress waitress can waiter can ke stri linga pade masculine gender waitress feminine form uh, here uh, masculine form uh, waiter waiter and feminine form waitress etoda masculine kiyanne purusha linga feminine kiyanne stri linga etokota this is waitress the waitress here knows exactly how i like my steak because i am a blank customer what kind of customer because the waitress knows exactly what i like so i should be what type of customer a regular a regular customer nitarayna so the word we have to use is regular regular and that is an adjective children because it describes the customer, customer. what sort of a customer oh, niti patayna regular customer kene meka opposite word ekak thama irregular irregular regular, it is an adjective uh, next one she is a little girl who learns very quickly uh, he is a blank little girl who learns very quickly bohom ikmanata ඉගෙන ගන්න පුළුවන් පුංචි ගෑනු ළමයෙක්. එතකොට what can be used before the word little girl? She should be a clever girl. Clever girl because she can learn very quickly. She is a clever little girl who learns very quickly. Then let's move on to the third one. Water becomes a at 0 degrees centigrade. Ah, water becomes a what? At zero degrees centigrade, you know, zero degrees, hundred degrees, are just opposite of this. So water becomes a yes, solid. A solid. Gani akbar pa? Solid, right? Solid, liquid, gas. We have. So water becomes a solid at a zero degrees centigrade. So let's move on to the fourth one. His hockey career came to an end because of knee problems. And his hockey career, ya ge me hockey. क्रीडा कर वृत्तीय केम टू एंड मेक एंड का अर्थ है ना मेक वी हैव टू यूज एन एडजेक्टिव मोनो वगे एंड है कटा जाए बिकॉज़ ऑफ नी प्रॉब्लम्स मे दानी से प्रश्न है कटा द मेक हादिसी वेच्चे का कहना पे हाउ कैन यू से दैट 
the word like abrupt? Abrupt. Abrupt. Suddenly. Sudden. We can, you can learn this word abrupt. The Samara stories, Patangano Hadis, abrupt start. Ending. Ab right? Abrupt, abrupt. Be beginning. So his hockey career came to an abrupt end because of knee problems. Uh, number five. Johnny has made progress in reading this past year and is now one of the top students in the class. Johnny has made progress, some kind of progress, in reading this past year and is now one of the top students in the class. Then Pantie, yeah, now, what can we use here? Here also we have to use an adjective. So, what is the most suitable adjective to describe? Extraordinary. Yes. Johnny has made extraordinary progress. So, extraordinary progress in reading this past year and is now one of the top students uh, in the class. The last one. There was an smell of cat waste in the old woman's house. Ah. There was an blank smell of cat waste. Waste in the old woman's house. So it is something unpleasant. Yes. So what is the adjective that you can use? Awful smell. There's awful smell that we don't like it. So there was an awful smell of cat waste in the old woman's house. Yes, thank you very much, sir. Uh, dear students, um, we have come to the end of the uh, lesson today. I hope we have uh, taught you new words and, of course, some words which are very familiar with you. Uh, so we hope that you will use these uh, in your exams, in your writing as well. So thank you very much for staying with us. Hope to see you next week as well. Have a pleasant day, children.